Good day and welcome to our physical education class. Together, we will explore knowledge and skills that will help you and your family develop a lifelong habit of physical fitness and wellness. For this module, we will talk about the physical activity through folk dancing. Our learning competencies are define folk dance, identify the different basic steps in folk dance, and promote folk dancing as a physical activity for the family. Before we begin, I want you to answer your pretest. I want you to identify what is described in the statement. Choose your answer from the given box below. For our recap, I want you to rearrange the jumbled letters to form a word related to dances. Folk dance is a popular dance considered as part of the customs and traditions of a particular group of people. The following dance terms and dance steps are basically used in Suwa Kosuwa, which is one of the Philippine dances with foreign influences, and we will discuss them one by one. Are you ready? You are to master all these dance steps which will be used later in your performance test. Study them carefully and demonstrate the dance steps with one of your family members. But yeah, to stamp or tap with one foot and the weight of the body is on the other foot. Saludo, it means bow. Set, a dance formation of two or more couples. Bend, to move the body or part of the body around wide axis. Leap, to spring one foot and land on the other foot. Skip, a combination of step and hop in one count. Gallop, a combination of step and a cut in one count. To cut is to displace the weight bearing foot with the other. Step, this is the basis of all locomotor movements. It is defined as transfer of weight from one foot to the other. Slide. Glide over the floor with one foot leading. It may be performed alternately by your right and left foot. Study and analyze the following table. The information given will be needed in your dance performance in Suwa Kosuwa. So stay focused.
Now, let's talk about the benefits of folk dancing. Folk dance is a great exercise and fun recreational activity for people of all ages. Anyone can learn to folk dance as formal dance experience is necessary. Dancing can be magical and transforming. It can breathe new life into a tired soul, make a spirit soar, unleash lack away creativity, unite generations and culture, inspire new romances or rekindle old ones, trigger long forgotten memories, and turn sadness into joy, if only during the dance. For the physical level, dancing can give you a great mind and body workout. Researchers are learning that regular physical activity in general can help keep our body, including your brain, healthy as you age. Exercise increases the level of brain chemicals that encourage nerve cells to grow, and dancing that requires you to remember dance steps and sequences boosts brain power to improve skills. Dancing is an excellent form of stress relief. Dance is like any form of exercise, produces natural antidepressants such as endorphins that can help improve life. Now that you are familiar with the different basic steps of folk dancing, I want you to answer the following questions. What is folk dance? What step do you like the most and why? What are the benefits you can get from folk dancing? For your valuing, I want you to make a slogan on how you can encourage your family and friends to perform a folk dance. For your post test, I want you to read the questions carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What is the step pattern of change step? Number 2. What is a form of dance developed by a group of people that reflects the traditional life of people of a certain country? Number 3. Which step is known as the combination of step and a cut in one count? Number 4. What is the step pattern of pivot turn? And number 5. Which statement is incorrect about the benefits of folk dancing? Thank you for listening, and I hope that you learned something from our session today. Always remember to please be safe. I will see you next session. Goodbye!